Hello everybody, welcome, come on in and join us today, Everything Disney Family here, and we have, boy, we have a fun topic today, wife, you want to explain to them? Okay, so for the past 26 days, we've been posting an A to Z series on our Instagram page, so we are going to, today is day number 26, so we are going to review A through Z of what we've posted. Every single letter we're going to go through and sit there, and we're going to put pictures up for every single one, you're telling me this? Yes. I have a lot of editing to do. But before we do all that editing and all that fun stuff, check it out. She's talking about Instagram. Go over there, check it out. Everything Disney Family, little at sign before, subscribe down below. You can still, still a little bit of time to get in the contest from the other day. Check that video out. And we're gonna dive right in with A, right? Okay, well first I also wanted oh. to say that I have done a lot, a lot of work on this A through Z series. And all of that work is saved. You can still see it. If you're new to our page, you can still go in the highlights on our Instagram page and you can look. I have an A through I highlight and then I have J through S and then T through Z. So all of the stories that I did, some letters I might have did, I mean, I, I did a lot of stories. Some of them could have been 10, even 15 stories. Some, some of the harder letters, of course, there's not as many stories for those. But all that information is saved over there. Um, I'll bring this up. It's right in this section, these are highlights here. All of our, all of the stories that I thought were important are all saved right there. So you can check all of those out. Okay, so let's start with A. So first up for A, we have Animal Kingdom Lodge. So this is a resort that we stayed at and our first trip to Walt Disney World as a family. 2018 maybe? 17. 18. Yeah. It was phenomenal, guys. I think, well, but we need to scooch over so that we can put oh, a picture. Oh, the pictures are going to be... put a picture right here. In the middle. We're going to try to do this it can't be somewhere. Maybe up there, maybe down here. <laughs> but anyways, Animal Kingdom Lodge, guys. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal resort. So many activities for the kids. So many great animals. restaurants. We love seeing all the animals right out of our window. This picture that we have here is Lauren looking at a zebra when we were... This was not from our room, but we were walking on the property. I think we had just finished feeding the animals. And again, a lot of this information will be in our highlights. And we did have a room of view of the animals, but we're not going to sit here and talk forever about one one letter because there's 26 and we're going to be here all day, guys. And we could yes. be here all day. So B. <laughs> okay, so next up is B. So B, we have Belle. So here is a picture of Lauren and Belle in her beautiful Christmas dress. This was on Christmas Day um, 2019. And uh, Belle is such a fun character to me. She has so many outfits. And this one... Is you know what else is B stands for? Guys, I don't know if YouTube has met her yet. B is for my baby girl right here. Dish, dish is <laughs> little belly. I don't know how much she's gonna cooperate, but this is belly, guys. Say hi, belly. <laughs> and she treat. eats her big treats. <laughs> That's Belle, guys. She's Australian Shepherd Poodle. She's an amazing dog. She's two years old. So Okay, so moving on to C, we have the Contemporary Resort. Guys, Contemporary is amazing. That same stay that we stayed at Animal Kingdom, we did a split stay and we stayed at Contemporary as well, two of my favorite resorts. And we have done multiple trips back to the Contemporary and we absolutely love it. The accessibility to the parks. Yes, and the walking distance to Magic Kingdom is the best part. Wonderful sure. restaurants. The Wave is, is, a, is a great restaurant. And yeah, just, and the pool's great. This picture of Lauren, um, this is right outside of the pool and it's just, you can't go wrong at the Contemporary. You can't, not at all. All right, so next up, D is for Dumbo. I love Dumbo. Everybody loves riding on Dumbo. I, I love just the views that you can see when you're up high on Dumbo. It's just, you know, you're right in Fantasyland and you can see, you can see so much. I just love it. It's okay, it's great. Lauren you know? loves it. I, it's a must ride on every trip. Yep. I, like, I don't like spinning, but I can handle Dumbo spinning. It's fine. Not the teacups. <laughs> All right, so next up is E. So for E, we have Everything Disney Family. Who's that? <laughs> That's us. What? Where's, there's no Lauren. Oh, Lauren's at We're school. gonna put a picture <gasps> right here she's gonna, of us. She's gonna be right here yep. with us. Everything Disney Family. So I think the picture that we're going to put right here is going to also show Belle, our dog, and also Snickers. So we actually have two dogs. Snickers is 11 years old and is the best dog ever. And what does Snickers have to do with Disney, though? Um, do they sell Snickers at Disney? They Somehow you got Snickers and cake pops. There, that's it. That's why we named her Snickers. I'm going with that. 
That's, That's 11 it. years ago. <laughs> That's a long time ago. <laughs> we were in Disney 11 years ago for our anniversary. So maybe. Maybe. Okay, so F is for Fantasyland. So there's so many rides in Fantasyland. This particular picture is of wallpaper. And it's actually wallpaper inside of a bathroom at the Disneyland Hotel, which I know that's a little weird, but I just think that this wallpaper is so pretty, the purple and blues. And it shows all of like the old time movie posters you're laughing at me. I'm laughing because Belle is trying to jump oh, in on this as we're Belle. talking. I, I can real quickly just come in. Belle's trying to say hi, hi again, Belle. guys. She's like, do you have another treat for me? What was that? I only had one treat another? prepped so she could come in conveniently, but... <laughs> oh well. Okay, so F Fantasyland, of course, that features Check out the wallpaper. Dumbo. Those. So many good rides. Peter Pan. Isn't Ariel? Or um is... at Walt Disney World, I guess. That's that what I was talking be. about. Yeah. Behind seven drawers. Yeah. I mean these yeah. are all Disneyland rides because this mm -hmm. But I think I did in the stories you'll see I talk about all of the Yeah, but you have Mr. Toad Wild ride. You have a bunch Actually of... with what I did with Fantasyland in my stories is I did um where people had to vote, did you yes. do like this ride or this ride better in Fantasyland? Something fun, so I think you can yeah. see the uh, percentages of what people like better. Yeah, if you go into the stories highlights. and highlights there. Okay, so next up is G for Galaxy's Edge. Guys, so. we've been to Galaxy's Edge uh, three times, or maybe four times now. Three. We have been on Rise of the Resistance. We have been on Smuggler's Run. We have, you guys have eaten at the... Ogus Cantina. Ogus Cantina. So and all of that is included in our highlights also. You'll see lots of information there. Guys, if you, you haven't been to Star Wars yet, check out Star Wars Land, Get Galaxy's Edge. It's really, really fun. Yes, we had a great time. Okay, next up is H for Haunted Mansion. So this is Dave's favorite ride. So I tried right to cover here. all three of our favorite rides in this A through Z. Oh. Series. So here is Dave's Haunted Mansion. So guys, there's totally a difference between Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and you know that just from going on the rides. I mean, they're different lengths. Both of them. There's different ways on how you get onto the ride with both of them. One of them, you go down into the basement. The other one, you kind of stay stationary, but the ceiling still rises. Um, it's amazing. In California, you got Hatbox Ghosts, and they do the theming for Christmas. Yes. And it is amazing what they do with the Nightmare Before, Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas, Jack Skellington, and Zero, and Oogie Boogie, and Sally, and the whole gang. They're all on the ride, and they just deem it amazing. And the one in Walt Disney World is is right there, too, guys. I, I absolutely love that ride yes. as well. I love where it's located into the park at Walt Disney World. It's so close. It's right in centralized. I love New Orleans Square, though, I, at Disneyland. Florida is better. I like the location in Florida better. Hmm. But I like the California version of it better. Okay, I don't know. So, either, right. either way, guys. For I, we have It's a Small World. Yeah. There's... So, this picture that we're showing here is at the during the holiday season. And the outside of It's a Small World is just absolutely beautiful. You know, This it, is only at Disneyland that they do this. As you saying, look at the pictures of us here on It's a Small World. Who has the pictures right in front of them? And they can see what we're talking about and... I don't have a clue. <laughs> You're gonna put the picture. Right I know. There. So, okay. This, but literally, this picture. next to us right now, there is a chair. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm adding them all in, guys. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing to see during the holiday season. The ride. I mean, everybody loves. It's a small world. And what, what's your your fact about it? Oh, it, it is the. It's a small world. Song is the most played song in the world. Because it is consistently on a loop. And it's played all at, day is it four long. different parks? Three, I think, for sure. Is it played four? Yeah, I thought it was four. I, that one, I, you can't fact yeah, check I'm me on because I, I don't that. know that. But one. obviously it's played at Disneyland, Walt Disney World. But fact check me on the most played song because it is. I will go down with the shit. Okay, so for Jay, we have Jesse's Critter Carousel. So this is Lauren's favorite ride. This ride is at Disney's California Adventure. And it's a carousel. It was rethemed a couple of years ago. And it what? has all of... Well, it used to be King Triton's Carousel, right? Yes. Yes. And that they have redone it to Jesse's Critter Carousel. Yes, yeah, so it has all of the wilderness friends. This is Lauren's favorite ride, guys. So you got mine. You got Lauren's. it. And you'll see in our stories that, like, 
will go on it multiple times. I know the one time like you went on the Incredicoaster with our niece and Lauren and I rode Jesse's Critter Carousel three, four times. Like we just... It's, it's a walk on. And well, it, not always, but yeah. first thing in the morning, that was like what we yeah. did at Rope Drop. So you went to the Incredicoaster, we went to the theming the is, Critter is, is Carousel. Really, it's really, really, really nice. cute. The music's super fun. It's a fun ride. And that, let me guess, next is K? Next is K. Oh. Do you remember what it is? Do I remember? I don't remember, to be honest with okay, you. Okay, it's the Kilimanjaro <laughs> Safaris at Animal Kingdom. Yes! We're so, going in a few days! Yes, I'm so excited. We've actually only been on this ride once, or this experience. I mean, it's a whole experience. You're driving through and you're seeing animals. It it was really cool. Well, you know that, you're on the ride for like 20 minutes. You're, you have animals all yeah. around you for the whole time. You're on the on the experience. It's not even a ride. I can't say it's a ride. It's an right, experience. Right, that's an experience. Yeah. Because you're just submersed and you're thrown into the the environment of all these animals and it's really, really amazing. I think it would be awesome to go to Africa and go on a safari. I think that yeah. would be really cool. It would be sweet. Yeah, to see right. the animals in their natural habitat. Okay. What, so, All right. So next up is L for Little Mermaid. You're gonna say Lauren. She's not even. Well, here's a picture of Lauren and yes! Ariel. So this is just <laughs> the sweetest picture. I so miss these character interactions. This particular picture was taken at the Princess Adventure Breakfast at uh, Disney's Grand Californian, and the storyteller. No, that's storyteller. No, it was at Napa Rose. Napa Rose. Why do you think storyteller? It was such a amazing experience. You get to see so many princesses. They come to your table like a normal character dining experience, but then they also perform things outside. Like you went out on their after you ate. Yeah, yes, you, you had watch. like small group interactions with each princess, and like, then you Pocahontas came back was in. teaching the girls like how to start a fire and how to do wilderness things, and was shown how to knit and things like that. And um, Ariel was talking about flounder and had different stuff. To animals Ariel was kids. back inside. Yes. Belle was reading to the kids. Yes, Belle was reading. Story Mulan time. was out there. There was a bunch. And it, it was, was really nice. Such, it was very expensive, but definitely worth it to do once. It I, was. I think a child was like 125 bucks to this day. I remember. I'm like, I think there was like five or six of us, and I'm like, oh no. There was four of us. <laughs> Still, it was like north of 500 bucks to have breakfast, but the experience of it was like it. doing it. It was like going to the park. Yeah. I mean, I know you're only there for maybe two hours, but it was that. It was, it was worth it. I would, I, I would pay that amount of money to do it again. Yeah, I would. Especially with Lauren's age, she went at a perfect time. I mean, as yeah. she gets older, like, did Katra enjoy it as much at? I don't know if she was twelve years old. Twelve or thirteen. Probably yeah. not. But at Lauren's age of five or six, I don't remember how old she was, but it was perfect. Okay, so next up is M. So M is a big one. M. There I think I know what so this one. There were so many options to choose from. This one is for Mouseketeers. See, it could be. No, it's not. It could Minnie be. Minnie Mouse? More. Yes. It, we actually did that, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Two for M? Yes, I couldn't choose. Do you have one. a photo of both Mickey and Minnie to put right here? I sure do. Look at it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. So here they are in Mickey's 90th birthday celebration outfits, and they're just the cutest. I love Mickey and Minnie. Mickey, meeting Mickey and Minnie is awesome. I, my favorite time meeting Mickey and Minnie has to be when Mickey was talking. Do you remember that? Yes, and I believe, I can't remember if I put that in the it in stories. Walt, it was in Walt Disney World, and it has been a few years now. But he would interact and actually talk with you and talk with your child. You know, he would ask, Mickey, you could ask Mickey a question. How's Goofy today? Or how's Pluto today? Yeah. And Mickey would be like, oh, oh boy, Pluto is great. And like, seriously, just interact and answer your questions and talk to you. And it was just, how's my Mickey? Does it sound pretty good? Sounds pretty good. It was pretty good today. It's on point. <laughs> okay, so next up is N for Nemo. So everybody loves Finding Nemo and Finding Dory movies. This picture that we're going to put up here is from Nemo's Reef on um, Disney Cruise Lines, the Disney Dream. This was in the, the, the play area, the slide, the slip and slide area, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's like a um, it was splash a, pad for little it, kids. Yes. Lauren loved it. It was so immersive and the kids got to sit there and ride on like the seahorses and the different animals and... There was this, like a little, you know, a toddler side yeah. slide and... And she, she loved it. I mean, yep. it was great. And the Disney Cruise Lines are amazing, and I hope they come back up soon. I know they got pushed back again to November or something. We actually have a cruise booked for November, so 
Fingers crossed. We'll see. Hopefully, guys. We got our shots the other day. I'm ready to get on that boat. Yes. Okay, next up is O for Olaf. So Olaf is always a fun character to meet. Sometimes he's hard to get an autograph from, though. We have received his art autograph before, but then sometimes he doesn't sign and he just gives you a card with a picture of him because his autograph is actually Was it Olaf himself. the one who has stamped it one time? It has a personal stamp or is that Buzz? That was Buzz. Okay. But I remember when this, when we met this Olaf, which was at Hollywood Studios and it was um, like, it was themed to summer, like the, we were meeting Olaf in summer and he didn't sign her Lauren's autograph book. He just like gave us a piece but of But he paper. gave her a warm hug. Yes, so here he is giving her a warm hug. We love Olaf. I may have a photo of me giving Olaf a warm hug, but I'm not going to display that one. <laughs> okay, next up we have P for Pixar Pier. P was also a hard one. There's so many options for P. We went with Pixar Pier. This is one that I have so many stories on. Like there's at least 15 stories for Pixar Pier because there's so much to share. And it's at my favorite park, Disney's California Adventure. And there's just so many rides and everything on Pixar Pier that I love. Lamplight Lounge. So this picture that we're showing is we were just finished eating at Lamplight Lounge for dinner. We got there when the sun was still out. So we had a view. It was beautiful. Yeah. And then the sun set and we had this even more amazing view of Pixar Pier at night. Pixar Pier is amazing. I love the retheming and Credit Coaster. Yes. The Mickey's Palace of Palerone. You use Mickey's Fun Wheel. It's called, I think it's Pixar, Pixar Palerone. 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 That is, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. Check it out. And that's where um, Jesse's Critter Carousel is as well. Yes. So. Okay, so next up is Q. And so this, again, was a hard one. Queen so Elsa? Queen. Oh. So here we have us with the evil queen. Also in my stories, I did mention Queen Elsa and Queen Anna. I felt that they both needed a mention as well. Honorable mention. Yeah. Where is this photo taken at? This photo was at um, Wilderness Lodge. Yes. At the Storybook Dining. This is where at I, tried to sell, I tried to say story tell it through story time earlier in the oh. episode, but I messed up. This yeah. is what I meant. Yes. Yes. Okay, so next up is R for Radiator Springs Racers. So this is my favorite ride, also at Disney's California Adventure. And it is just amazing. For those of you that haven't been, it's sort of similar to Test Track at Epcot. But better. But so much better. The theming, it's so cute. It's It ends with a race, you and another car race. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I do like Test Track a lot. I go back and forth on the two, but no, Radiator Springs. No, hands down, Radiator Springs Racers. Yeah. Yep. I think when we did this or that, though, I picked Test Track over. Mm -hmm. But I do like Radiator Springs. I do like it a lot. Okay, so next up for S is Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. All right, guys, they're going to be retheming Splash Mountain very soon. So if you haven't gone and you have yet to gone, get your booty <laughs> to the parks and get on Splash Mountain because they're retheming it. But right now it's still Splash Mountain. And it is amazing with Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox. and it It's is just so cute. I love singing along to Zippity Doodah. What which park do you like better? Do you like Disneyland or Walt Disney World? Um, I could go either way. I like Disneyland because I get drenched, but I like Disney World because you don't get drenched. I so like... I like Walt Disney World because you do not get drenched. If I'm going on Splash Mountain at Disneyland, I am changing into flip flops. At Disneyland, I... she's like, we're going on it at eight fifty five. The park closes at nine. I am not going to be drenched the whole day in the park. Yes, I do not like wet feet. I will be le walking out of the park right off the ride and no time for gifts or snacks well maybe a cake pop but yes okay so next I know up tea. is tea i got it right here no, that's not tea though this is him that is tigger that's tea well you better take this away while i have a big we sip from tea. we chose a different tea but i think that you will like this tea because it's like your favorite it's a toy story it's toy story <gasps> land <laughs> I love Toy Story Land. I love Toy Story. It's my favorite anime movie of all time, guys. It's awesome. Woody, Buzz, the gang, Jesse, and I could go on and on. And I actually, me and Lauren, one day, the other day, we did a, Lauren's like, how many characters can you name from Toy Story alone? And she's like, Dad, can you get the 10? I got the 10 easily. Yes. <laughs> she said, Dad, can you get the 20? I got the 20. I nailed all the ball. Dad, can you get the 25? Done. Can you get to 30? I think I got to 32 or 33. 
There's a lot of characters. There is a, there is a lot because you got like Bonnie and and Woody and Bo Peep and um, Duke Kaboom and and Sid and Andy and Spud and there's just they go on. Bunny. Yes, there are so many great characters, guys. I could just go on and on. And I love that kind of trivia, like testing my brain. Oh, can you name this many characters from this many movie? That's that's. You know, I'm diving in. That's why I specialize in right there. I, I love it, guys. Toy Story is amazing, guys. As you can tell, all my pops back there. All right, what are you Okay, doing? so next up is You for Up, another great movie. You talk about Up while I have some coffee. Okay, so this picture here was taken at Disney's California Adventure. They had a couple of walls um, up over by the Monsters, Inc. ride. What would that be called? what that area is called I'm not sure I blanked there I, I so anyways there were some walls and this particular wall oh, with the balloons yes. was here and it was such a cute photo op I love that Disney they know that everyone's just trying to post things on Instagram it's at Disneyland it's at California Adventure yes this was on um, kind of the boardwalk area by the uh, ice creams right no you th I'm thinking of the wrong area yes this is over by Monsters Inc yes. obviously it's not there now this is just this yep. like a thing it was like in December of 2018 that we took this picture. Anyways, okay. we love the movie up. Oh. Okay, next up Squirrel. is V for <laughs> Vanellope Von Sweets. Sweets? Sweets. Sweets. Sweets, sweets. From Wreck-It Ralph. She was such a fun character to meet. Um, super cute. I don't think we've only met her once or twice, I'll be honest with you. But Yeah, I think just once. And then um, they had the Vanellope Von Sweets. Um... And the cruise ship, candy shop. It is huge. It's an ice cream shop and candy, candy. shop all in one. It, you, it, I mean, if you're hungry and you want a sweet treat, that is the place to go on the Disney cruise ship. That was on Disney the Magic Dream. Dream. Yes, guys, um, we love Wreck-It Ralph. We like Penelope, obviously, because we're taking photos with her. Yes. Okay. So next up is W. So for W, we went with Walt Disney, the man himself. Can you imagine what the world would be like without his imagination and his dreams? I wouldn't have this hat and, on right now, I could tell you And that. what he's done, I mean, he just brings so much happiness every day to everyone, whether they're watching a Disney movie or watching, you know, or whether they're in the park and going on the rides and all of these things that his imagination, you know, and, and you'll see in my stories with the W also, I talk a lot about the partner statue and just the quotes on there and then another statue that's at Disney's California Adventure. They're just, they're so meaningful and special to me. And I just, I truly believe that he just wanted families to be together in his parks and to have a good time and make money. Okay. But I just, I really do think that it was something special for him. Yeah. Uh, and I, I really enjoy going on Disney Plus and look, going back in the old, in the old, I don't even, what's the name of the series that they have, but especially the one that the imagineering is, yes the imagineering um you know from the 40s to the 70s 60s you know when the parks were being made and walt was sitting there watching the parks being made and walking down main street and helping with the rides and then they were talking about the 1964 world's fair and how they did all that and they you know they, that's how smart world got its start up in new york at the state fair and then they moved it to the parks and it, all that all that story and all that history, I eat that so stuff up. History. Guys, so check out Disney Plus for that. That is an amazing story. Yes. Okay, so next is X. So X was really, really hard. This is a huge stretch. I know we just did this one like, a couple <laughs> days ago. And I don't even know what it so is. So we did extra, starting with an X, extra magic shot. X. <laughs> So here's Lauren holding Tinkerbell in her hand. So the, e the Disney photo pass photographers will take pictures like this. I'm interested to see what type of magic shots they have right now during the pandemic. So we'll find that out next week and we will definitely be asking for some extra magic shots. For sure. Or really, I think they're just called magic shots, but we're going to just throw that extra in front of it. The X. For, for this A through Z series. Why? Okay, so why is... Hey, did you get what I get there? You're like, why? <laughs> okay, so why is for YouTube. So here you already are. You're watching our YouTube channel. But now you're already 25 minutes deep. Oh, boy. I don't know if you guys made it this far, but <laughs> whoever has, big thumbs up and kudos to you guys. You guys also you are the probably you. probably our family. You, <laughs> yes. 
If you guys made it this far, you have to give us a big thumbs up below. That's amazing. You guys are the best. I'm going to say a lot of you words right now. Yes! Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Yes. So moving on to our final letter is Z. So for Z, we chose Zootopia. Zootopia is amazing. I love it. Yes, it's a great movie. So here... I'm gonna put, can I put you on the spot? Okay. Can you name five characters from Zootopia? Let's do it. Ooh. Nick Wilde, Judy Haps, Grizel. Is that her name? No, um, uh, the singer? Yeah. I'll give it to you. That's fine. I don't know what her name is. Something like that. You can do it. You can do it okay. too. Okay. Um... I'm putting you on the spot. If you yeah. don't, if you can't do it, you can't do it. What about Flash? Oh. Yes. At the DMV? Yeah. Department of Motor Vehicles? Oh my Flash, God. he's like... <sighs> we already put him to sleep. We're at 26 <laughs> minutes now, so... <laughs> Flash. Oh my One more. gosh. Okay, what about... The other... The little lady. The little... Was she a lamb? The lamb? She was like the uh, um, office worker, but she turned out to be the bad guy. Break. Well, don't give it away. Oh. Spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie from 10 years ago, I just ruined it for you. <laughs> um, I don't know yeah, I don't oh. remember their names. Anybody's. Yeah. Nick Wilde, Judy Haps. Flash. Flash, Flash, 100 yard dash. Let's go. What's the next letter? <gasps> <gasps> That's it. We're out of letters. The genius can't take an hour to upload. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And if you made it this far, which it's probably just me and you at this point, you guys get an A+. Plus. Tune in. In a couple days, we're going to do another fun trivia. I'm not sure if we're going to do one of the same things we've done before, the color brain, or if we're going to try to do a different, different Disney trivia. But I think this might be a weekly thing. A lot of people seem to like our trivia. Mm -hmm. So... Ooh, I guess there's no more pictures in there. We can scoot back closer together. Unless you don't want to be what? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching today. Thanks for checking us out. Check us out at Instagram. You're going to have all these and all the stories over there. How do they get there again? One more time? At Everything Disney Family. And then go to the highlights. The highlights. They're they're up there. There's This has A through something. And then... Yes. I'm well, I had to split again. them into three highlights. So there is A through I series. J through S series and T through Z series. So again, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you made it this far, thumbs up. If you can name five characters from Zootopia without looking and without looking at anyone else's answers, put them down below and we'll check you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye guys.